Hey, let's try and call a robot as through a REST service. So we want to be able to send arguments back and forward. So for the sake of demonstration, we're going to be using right line to write out some text. And we're going to be using assign to update the text so we can see that we're getting something back. So we're going to say hi from robot. And we're going to create an argument called text and set it to in out so we can both receive input and we can get input or give output back. We're going to save this workflow as rest workflow and say OK. So if we run this, nothing happens because there's nothing uh, given. So if we go over here, we can test that the workflow is working by working it and typing something and we get a message back and we can see in here that we got the message that we just sent to it. But let's take this a step further. So if we go to Node-RED, Node-RED can also listen on HTTP request and that can be used to create a REST service. So if we create one here and say we want to accept post so we can send data to a URL and we're going to expose this as our RPA endpoint. The next thing we're going to do is that we're going to add a robot or a node for calling a robot. We're going to say we want to call our local robot currently running as LN5 and we want to call our, where is it, there our REST workflow. So this will take whatever parameters that is posted to this service and send it directly to the robot and whatever the robot sends back will be sent back as a result for that request. So now if we deploy this, we should be able to call our robot directly. So in order to test that, let's use Postman. So the URL that we created was uh, slash RPA. So we take the node red URL and add slash RPA and that's our URL. Then we want to sign in and we want to sign in as our user. If you're using federated sign in, just go to Elmin users, find your username, add it and then set whatever password you're interested in using from the API in here. So you can now use both, for instance in this case Office 365 and password directly. So we're going to set this to basic authentication and apparently it remembered my last test. And we want to send a body. Uh, I'm just going to go to raw because that's just simpler. So I'm going to type in some JSON and I'm going to say text and hi from postman. And we need to set this to be JSON so it will send a, a header telling that we just sent it JSON. Let's test this. So I'm going to send it. And that failed. And that is because I need to post. Let's try again. And I got a message back saying hi from robot. And if we go for the robot, we can say, say hi from postman. So it just called the robot from postman. But let's try something else. So we can also do this from PowerShell. So I have prepared a little script here that will send the message hi from PowerShell. It will then post it and we can see the result. So if I call this and say username and password, I get hi from robot. And if I look inside the robot, you can see it says hi from PowerShell. So that is how easy it is to expose a robot as a REST service.